So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm doing a bit of an update on Red Dead Redemption. There's two main reasons for that. One is that a subscriber wanted to see how Red Dead Redemption ran in an open world scenario. My previous video was very much me playing the game on rails in chapter one. We're now in chapter two, so I've got a lot more free uh, range of all the landscape and game. So I'm going to show you a bit of gameplay there. The other thing I wanted to update people on was the problems I said I was having. Um, I had a lot of problems trying to get Red Dead Redemption to, to be stable. I had it running out of memory. I had audio stuttering. Um, I, had it, I found it difficult to keep it in um, full screen mode. And I think I've got uh, solutions for all of those. So I guess we'll start off with the problems I encountered. So the first one, running out of memory. After a lot of research, there seemed to be lots of reasons for that. I tried all sorts of things like changing the, v, uh, the VRAM in the BIOS from anything from 8 gig down to 6, 4, 3, um, and it all just continued to run out of memory. And then something referred to MSI Afterburner, which I believe is a performance overlay. And whilst I didn't have MSI Afterburner, I was run, running something called Handheld Companion, which is a great piece of software. And part of that is it has Reva Statistics, which is a performance overlay. And after turning that off, the memory problem seems to have gone away. So that was a solution to problem one. Um, the second solution was getting uh, the game to stay in full screen mode. And so if I go into settings, um, what I'd recommend is when you start the game, sorry, I'll, I'll go into the um, Legion space. Or oh, we'll try to, yeah, here we go. So it's just made a liar of me. I was gonna say, start the game in 2560 by 1600. Um, so, the reason for that is that you can then have access to all the lower resolutions to change between. If you started in 1200 by 800, um, you wouldn't have access to the higher resolutions. Now let's just see if that's actually true now. Um, so here we are, 1200 by 1600. Uh, okay, so I've got access to all the resolutions there. So. Um, I guess the main difference is that I'm making sure I'm on full screen um, and I can step through the various resolutions that I'm interested in and then you can apply them and it seems to be a lot more stable now in, in that it doesn't keep defaulting back to 720 and window, uh, window boardless or something like that. Yeah, that. So always have it full screen and then you can choose the resolution and also um, have it using direct X12, not Vulkan. Um, but I'd still stick with my original idea of running it at, at, uh, at least 1200 if you're going to run it at 1200. Um, and that way you, you will definitely have access to it. So what was the other thing? Um, I think the other thing I noticed was that um, audio stuttering, it's gone away. I mean, it used, it used to be really bad, but when I was, um, when I had my settings, it was running quite nicely and I, I got into bits near a river. It was stuttering a little bit and I think that was power related. I think it's one of the indicators. It's not quite got enough power to do the job. So you either drop some settings or plug it in really. So, having said that, let's let's um, see about running around in the world. And what I'll do is I shall unplug it because we are running performance um, mode, which means it'll be twenty watt TDP. Where's my horse? There he is. So there won't be a lot of action, but you'll, you'll get an idea of how the game looks. Right, 
Ooh, interesting. Okay, it just needed to stabilize a bit. So today I updated to the beat, the official beta bias, which is on the Lenovo um, community forums. And I also went to the beta VGA drivers, again available on the, the um, Lenovo forums. I'll put links to them in the, uh, in the description of this video. So as you can see, it's settled down and we're sort of like running around with spikes, but 36 to 42. Um, we've got quite a distant uh, view distance. It feels pretty nice. Looks great as well. Um, I'm hoping it looks as good on my camera. So weirdly, this isn't running as well as I felt it did the other day. I don't know if that's because I've changed the drivers. Now sometimes, if it feels a little stuttery, it can be an indication of a bit more power. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna up the power. I'm gonna put it on custom and drop it down to 25. Okay, it's on custom 25 now. Okay, that feels a little smoother. So the, the choices you have, I guess, are if you want to maximize your battery life, instead of change, you know, upping the power, maybe drop it down to a 1050 setting. But you can see, you know, it seems to have smoothed out. It's getting a, a bit higher frame rate now. So what I'm gonna do is just change to um, 1050. This is a custom resolution that you can get by downloading a registration file and running it. It's pretty safe. And I shall apply that. Let's see how that looks. So this is as close to 1080p, I guess. So it still looks good. And you can see we've got nice frames per second. In fact we hit 60 there but that's at 25 watts. So let's see just by dropping the wattage down to performance so that's 20, 20 watts. Okay, that's something weird in Legion space, that you can't change the refresh rate unless you're on power. But I actually feel like this game needs 25 watts. Um, I just noticed a little bit of audio stuttering creeping in there. But I mean there, you're getting close to 60 frames per second. It sometimes hits it, but... Um, on ten, uh, you know, 1050. So I think I've got a bit distracted and went off topic, topic there, but hopefully I've fulfilled both of the main aims of this video. One, to show my subscriber that it runs beautifully out in the open world. And um, the second, to just sort of like deal with some of the problems that I said I'd had 
um, and just to give an indication of how to get the stability you need. So once again, thanks for watching.